You turtles are no match for the Foot Clan. Well, why don't you meet my foot, soldier? <laughs> Hope you had a nice trip. See you next fall. Hey, I was supposed to say that. Mikey, didn't you leave some pizza in the oven? Ooh, pizza! Booyah kasha! Go to BigBadToyStore.com for all your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys! Yeah! Love you, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Lego Turtle Lair Attack Set. I really want to thank my amazing, beautiful girlfriend, Back Over Cal, for getting me the set for Christmas. I've been wanting to review this, and it sets an awesome set, and I want to thank her, and you guys should subscribe to her. Link is in the under bar. So let's take a look at the packaging. Of course, it has the Lego Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, since this is based on the cartoon which I love. You guys should check out if you haven't so you can see the picture of the set and see the minifigures it comes with. It is for ages 6 to 12 and is a 488 piece set. You can see on the back here you see more pictures of the set which is pretty awesome. All the little action features and accessories and has a little comic uh, you know, showing what happened. Enough talk, let's build this Lego Ninja Turtle set. Booyah, Kasha! And here we got the Lego Turtle Lair Attack set. This took a little over an hour to complete. Has a lot of, lot of cool little action features and goodies. So let's take a closer look at it. Just like every Lego set, you get uh, not one, but two book of instructions how to build these sets, you know, step by step. Like any um, Lego set would. Plus you get little advertisements uh, slash comic of all the um, other Ninja Turtle sets which I got, which I will review for you guys. So very cool and shows all the action features and pieces. You get five mini figures, actually six, which I'll show here in a second, but let's take a look at them. Start out with my favorite Ninja Turtle, Raphael. Uh, he has an angry face. He's also in another set, I believe the fish face set. Uh, but yeah, this one has a more angry one. Comes with his size, which are just adorable. They have their own uh, turtle shell, which I love. No weapon storage, but you know, for something that's so, so small, I didn't expect it. But you know, they all have the standard Lego articulation. Second minifig is Leo, which uh, has a more meaner face than he's also, I think, in the shell razor set. Um, you know, it looks very cute. He has his both his katana blades and a shell. Next one is Splinter. Now Splinter, uh, to make him a little taller, he has this kind of Lego piece to look like kind of his robe, which is cool. And he comes, you know, with a, you know, they have a lot of weapons, but he comes like with a ninja star and katana blade. So it makes him slightly taller than uh, the rest of the turtles. Just very slightly, you know, only like because of his ears, he's a little bit taller. Next, you get a little foot soldier. It comes with a little scythe, which is very cute that you construct. And also, you know, another katana blade. And the last one you get is a dark ninja. Now, even though it's called a dark ninja, by the way, he has weapon storage on the back because of two dark katana blades. So this one is more just an extra katana blade. Now, if you open it, you can see it looks like Chris Bradford, who will become Dog Pound. And he looks a lot like Chuck Norris, so kind of like having a Lego Chuck Norris, which is very cute. So I, I think that's pretty awesome. Let's look at the little things that you get with the set. You get two skateboards, one for Raphael and one for Leo, since this comes with a set. But you can use them for anyone. You know, they have the little wheels and they roll. Two different designs in there. You just clip in the place right here so you can have your turtle skating. So have Leo skateboard, which has like the Apple logo, which... Uh, you think Donnie would have the Apple logo? I don't know why. Or that's supposed to be an Apple, it looks like it. But yeah, he has a little skateboard holder, you know, if you want to place them. Looks like it has a place for all four, for four skateboards, but you only get two. You also get a little skateboarding ramp. It's only a smaller one, but it has a little bar. So if you want your turtles to do little sets, you just clip their little hands right there. So it looks like they're, they're skateboarding, which is very cool. You also get this little seesaw. Which, you know, just a little simple thing. I guess it's just meant for a little trap for your uh, Ninja Turtles. You just, you know, you know, well, stay on there. Really good if you clip them on there. Now you got this little work bench area, which is meant for Donnie. It comes in three different sections. One, you get this section right here, which appears, I don't know if these are like welding tools or paint cans, but it's in yellow, red, and blue. And you get two containers of Metagen, which is very cool. Next up is this little screen. It looks like a, either a surveillance screen that looks like an alleyway, or it's a little TV. One thing that's cool, you notice it has a red, purple, orange, and blue spot. So I guess it's meant for like, you can place the turtles in there to look at what's going on, you know. 
So I, I think that's a little cool. Plus it has a little lever slash antenna on here and it can move, pivot forward and back. And last is this other workbench area that has like what it looks like to be a little lamp, has some gears and a little screen lever right here. Plus it has open little drawers that you can put little things in there for Donnie. So I think that's really cool. And these are all separate pieces you can put wherever. And you got the main section of the set, which is the actual lair itself. Start with this side. Now this is that six mini figure I told you about. It comes with like a shredder uh, practice dummy, which is very cool. It has a little staff on here. You can see that little black wheel right there. That's a little action feature which you actually can turn it and rotate it so you can have your turtles practice. So I think that's really cool. Uh, as you can see right next to it, it has a little tree meditation area. You can actually place them right on here, which I usually place them right there on the set. So very cool. It has Splinter's little meditation. And you can see yeah, throughout the set there's little pieces of green to make like ooze has been spilling out. So yeah, that's the main, uh, the first part of the set right here is when you can actually move this out. So you can have the set be like a full on corner set like this, or you can have it like make it long, you can see like there, or you can bring in closer like that. So there's many different ways to uh, display the set. Now the other side of the first level, you can see here it, it continues where you have Donnie's work bench area. You can see here you have some plans, some agronomes, and um, you can see we have little turtle blend plans, which is very cool. You have the TCOM plans, blueprints, and you have the show razor blueprints. Oh, little uh, fan nod right there with the turtle blend. You can see here there's stickers for pipes and everything. Um, little area, you got the little, uh, little ladder stairs, which you can rotate here to bring out to have your Lego minifigures uh, step up. Now we go on to the next level. Another little action feature is this little crane. It's articulated. You can see here it like rotates and has the little bits that like pivot and move forward and back. It rotates on these ball joints and these little hinges right here. So you can have when your turtle's hanging or move little things. Also continues like the workbench as there's little t tools like wrenches and hammers in there. Then right next to it is the kitchen. Turtles gotta have a kitchen to cook their pizza. And speaking of which, there is a little lever on the back right here. Let's see that little red uh, lever right there. Now, once you push it forward, it actually launches your pizzas out. You just press it forward. You have a nice uh, pizza pie for your turtles. So very cool, you gotta have their pizza, you know. Right here next to it, you can see there's a little ladder, which kind of, you know, doesn't really move. It kind of moves, but it brings you to the top level, which has a little street light and a little wall. It says Meeton's Rule even has a little fire hydrant and a little action feature right here where you can place like one of your baddies like let's play place, uh, Chris Bradford up on here. Okay now when you turn this little wheel right here it brings this little part right here and launches him down or man he likes to hang around doesn't he? It's a little opening for your turtles to get inside. Just love the little details like the stickers that say caution do not enter with the ooze spilling down right there. Back of the set is pretty plain except you do have a little action feature you see a little stick of dynamite where the arrow is you just bring this lever uh, back and rotate it and it brings down it makes the layer explode. Also the back of the second wall has a little opening escape hatch if you want the turtles to escape. The last action feature is right here where there's a little beam for your turtles to hang. You just simply set them up. The lever on the back here, you just move it uh, forward and eventually <laughs> if he's not clipped in place you can have your uh, turtles kick off uh, your dark ninja. Well, it's to escape for you guys. You guys can roll with us turtles. Raphael, what did I say about skating in the lair? But Sensei, we're being attacked. No skating or I will put my foot down. I Sensei. Well, Sensei, you definitely put that foot down. Size comparison time. You can see that sewer lair place it with Lego scale. It's not entirely like, you know, the set should be bigger like any of these Lego play sets, but you can see how big it is compared to the uh, basic uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Leonardo. You can see uh, from the tallest point, it's about like uh, maybe like 11 inches tall with if you count the uh, the light 
and stuff. You can see how it is with Hot Toys uh, Mark VI Iron Man. Once again, I want to thank my amazing girlfriend back over Kel for getting me this set for Christmas. I freaking love it. I love the Ninja Turtles. I love Lego. So this was the best of both worlds. Set's a freaking awesome set. Obviously, you have to get the... Um, other sets to get your full turtles but I don't mind because I love the other sets and this one uh, is freaking amazing you can get this for like 50 bucks um, I believe you can get it like not only at um, Target and Walmart but getting like Toys R Us it might be a little bit more but also you can get a bigbadtoystore.com uh, it's really awesome I love the minifigs I love there's so many fun action features and possibilities and you know, it's a really you know fun and uh, set to build and like I said, if you love Legos and Ninja Turtles, this is the set to get and definitely looks great on your Lego display and I highly recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, and more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member celebrate your home in a big way. Go to bkbn.net! Go to bkbn.net! Go to bkbn.net! I tell you to go! Go down! Give it up, turtles. We know where your lair is now. Oh, since you're here, would you like to stay for dinner? We're making pizza! Pizza? There's no time for pizza! Oh, hot, hot, hot! No, not the pizza! You've gone rogue!